what's going on everybody it's your boy and i'm back for well something i haven't done in a while this is an in the kitchen segment but this one is linked to the whole t spillings bu 365 so i'm actually getting ready to prepare myself uh lunch it's like 3 26 in the afternoon i know y'all probably like lunch late don't worry about that but <clears throat> what i'm going to make for you guys is some uh, baked tilapia uh, some brown rice with some soy sauce and some teriyaki broccoli. <clears throat> now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you right now how much this and a third, but I want you guys to wait until the end of the video because then you will get to pretty much see uh, how much uh, it all come out to in terms of calories, how much protein is in this entire meal, how much of a meal it actually is, fiber the whole shebang <clears throat> all right and you're going to be amazed at how much for how little calories you're going to be amazed so <clears throat> yeah let's go ahead and head to the kitchen so right now i'm starting out actually with the uh brown rice i just the top off so the boil came down but this was at a rapid boil which is where you want it at i have uh pretty much doubling what the recipe calls for follow us on the uh actual you know back but um, <clears throat> it calls for two cups of water. I got four in here. So it asks for one cup of rice. I'm doing two. There's also, and it won't stick in there, but that's all right. But that's all right. And I also have a little bit of olive oil in here. You know, to kind of help it keep from sticking. All that good jazz, about a tablespoon. Like I said I have all that factored in a little bit later. And pretty much all we're going to do is cover this back up and let it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, let it reduce down to a simmer. One thing that I do want to emphasize is if you want to know why we use a brown rice, pretty much it's because of the content, you know, because one fourth of a cup is pretty much going to be a um, serving size. And if I use regular rice, it's like, you know, uh, 150 calories, three grams of uh, protein, but no fiber. Not to mention total carbs, 35. But this is 140 for the same amount. Uh, still three grams of uh, protein, one gram of fiber, only 29 net, 29 grams of net carbs. So, you know, well actually regular carbs, it'll be 28 net carbs. So, heck of a lot better for me. All right, you guys, so next thing I wanna do is uh, do some tilapia. So as you can see, I have it on this pan. Uh, it's lined, of course, with Luna foil. It's gonna help with easy cleanup. If you look deep, like I said, there's a little bit of olive oil down there. Like I said, this is real thin, so don't want to stick and not a whole lot of fat in it either. And like I said, when I buy these, I get these individually wrapped. It just makes it easier to take out what I need. You know, I typically take out <laughs> just about covering that bag most of the time. So seasoning, I'm going to use a little bit of seasoning, salt, not a whole lot. Okay, maybe, maybe a little bit. Uh, onion powder and garlic powder and, and just about everything that I make if I'm cooking those tend to be the three items that I always go to is that and pretty much 350 degrees I'm using toaster oven one because it makes sense this is only so much hey that's all I got you know but just to throw something out there, especially if you guys are watching your salt and tape, use uh, some salt free seasoning, like I said, onion and herb and even garlic and herb. This right here will give you a little extra on the seasoning. So doing that, let that cook. Like I said, I'm having it cook. Like I said, I've turned it all the way to 30, but it should take somewhere between eh, 15 to 30 minutes. So come back and check that. Like I said, the rice is still simmering. And if you guys are wondering why, I put it in a big old while. Uh, pot like that or pan like I said more surface area the faster it's going to cook for me all right all right you guys so I'm plating so with the rice doing the calculations it's about uh three well yeah three-fourths of a cup uh cooked I'm gonna show you guys that so got three-fourths of a cup there you know kind of have it you know just did out ever so slightly and then for the uh broccoli two cups of frozen broccoli I'll show you guys hold on Okay, just frozen broccoli. 
through in the microwave for seven minutes, let it cook, and then I add two tablespoons of uh, teriyaki sauce, which gives us teriyaki broccoli. And how much am I going to use? Whole damn container. Let's go ahead, throw it on there, try to make this not look so cluttered. This is pretty much my lunch, and I'm also going to have the same thing for dinner. And I just dropped some on the floor. Silly, 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 silly me. All right, but you guys just go ahead and dump that on there. And that's it. That is it. Yeah, I'm using plasticware, okay? Trying to eliminate as many dishes I, as I have to use. But this right here is going to be my lunch and my dinner. All of this, so we're going to go back. I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Let you guys know what the roll up is. So, you guys saw the plate, and I know y'all looking like, goodness, that is a lot of food. It is. It really, really is. And, you know, really focusing on, you know, trying to make sure that there's a big, heavy, <clears throat> vegetable presence now I love broccoli just as is but you know eating it regular after a while it uh it becomes a bit much <laughs> so what I wanted to do <clears throat> is you know a little bit of teriyaki sauce on it you know kind of gives it like a nice little tangy sweet flavor and kind of makes you know the ordinary a little extra which is for me you know great so for all of that, I know you guys are wondering like, how much, how much, and all that good jazz, so let's go to my handy dandy phone. And like I said, I do use an app to, you know, track it, you know, for those of you who don't really want to do the minuscule type things, you know, the further you get into uh, fitness and wellness and whatnot, sometimes you gotta kinda go that extra step. But food prep helps an awful lot, and we'll do more about that. I'll vlog more about that uh, later. And butter, uh, <clears throat> in reference to the uh, brown rice with the soy sauce, pretty much uh, for that one serving, because, you know, like I said, factoring in the water and everything, about three fourths of a cup, you know, 144 calories. Let me see what else. Uh, 29. Uh, grams of uh, well 29 um, <laughs> carbs so grams oh my gosh I can't talk right now and of course that one gram <clears throat> going towards the dietary fiber so the net being 28 which isn't bad and 3.8 grams of uh, protein just from the rice so I mean definitely not bad uh, the tilapia <clears throat> like I said it's real simple that was uh, four ounces you know 100 calories um, you know, a big takeaway is, you know, 20 grams of protein and, ooh, um, you know, yeah, it's pretty much a big takeaway is, you know, just the protein, not, not a whole lot of fat, very lean, the whole nine for those two pieces, you know, like I said, I do have a little, uh, scale in my, uh, kitchen, so, you know, I use that, <clears throat> and for the teriyaki broccoli, interesting name, I said if that was two cups and one third of a cup is uh, a regular serving size so we went just went balls to the wall on that 180 calories and that's including the teriyaki sauce um, and let's see I mean 18 grams of fiber alone and it's recommended for Americans that we get 25 grams of um, fiber so that right there it pretty much maxes out. I try to get in a lot of uh, um, fiber. What I do recommend is, you know, especially with a meal like this, ensure that you're drinking a lot of water, you know, during and even after. Because with fiber, especially with water, soluble fiber, and I'll probably do a separate video about that later in the future, you want to drink water, okay? And if not, you know, increasing your fiber intake and not increasing your water intake can, you know, lead to constipation. Don't want that. Don't even want to talk about that with the video, but just putting it out there. But, you know, in terms of vitamin C for the daily recommended 360, vitamin A is 90. You know, like I said, again, the uh, total carbs is 38, but factoring in the 18 grams from the uh, fiber, that's just 20 net grams. Like... 
pretty pretty nice so the drum roll is and i'll actually have this uh posted as you before you can uh, for you to see um in terms of uh protein 42 grams carbohydrates uh 67 grams fiber 19 grams you know just like the big takeaways um you know what else the vitamin a 90 percent the vitamin c 362 calcium 12 percent iron 17 for this entire meal and the overall calories for this meal is 424 calories so that big old plate less than 500 calories now if you think about 500 calories like i say you go to a fast food joint a lot of what you get is probably gonna be less than that probably not as uh i guess we could say satisfying in terms of you know what the body needs but so so many more calories and i'm not saying you can't have you know everything in moderation but you know just compare <clears throat> a double cheeseburger and fries and a coat to this plate and a, you know like a liter or if not a liter you know what 12 16 24 ounces of water quite a bit there so hopefully you guys enjoyed this like i said that is a meal fit for a king and a queen you know i said because you got to eat and that right there is just one meal and i'm going back four seconds for um dinner and i'll have leftover rice for uh what is it six more meals so and even if i want to i can double up and play around with it and all that good jazz so that's all i got you guys thank you guys so much for watching like i said this is uh bu 365 and hey you know be well be fit be fierce but most importantly be you see you guys on this video please rate comment subscribe and share bye